Hello, this is Devin Lockett here at the Biomed RX Health Center, and today's video is about cannabidiol, also known as CBD. CBD is one of about 115 cannabinoids that's found in the cannabis plant. Cannabis is a family of plants that includes hemp as well as marijuana. Before we get into CBD, I want to talk about marijuana because since 2018, medical marijuana has been made legal in many states, um, especially here in California, which is where the Biomed RX Health Center is located. Now, we do not sell marijuana products, um, but we do sell CBD oil. Marijuana is also known as uh, weed, pot, uh, smoke, dope, 420, herb, Mary Jane, Dank, Bud, Ganja, Pakalolo. It goes by many names. And um, medical marijuana does have its uses and its benefits. But right now, we're just going to focus on CBD. You know, the first uh, federal law about the cannabis plant was actually pro-cannabis. It was a law during World War I that was, act, uh, that was encouraging uh, farmers to grow hemp because the fiber from the hemp was being used uh, for uh, military tents and ropes and a lot of products that we needed to fight the war. The difference between marijuana and hemp is the quantity of THC, also known as tetrahydrocannabinol. THC is the psychoactive component of marijuana. In other words, it's the part that gets you high. However, uh, cannabidiol or CBD is not psychoactive. It does have very pleasing effects on um, calming your nerves and relaxation, relief from stress, anxiety, and depression, as well as pain, calming hyperactivity, and OCD, or obsessive compulsive disorder. Another important uh, cannabinol is CBG, also known as cannabigerol. And we're gonna be discussing that in future videos. Now, as always, before I get into the claims about CBD, I have to stress that I am not a doctor and nothing that you see or hear on Biomed RX TV should be construed as medical advice in any form. I'm only providing you anecdotal information uh, from based on reviews from clients of the Biometrics Health Center and clients of Biomed RX Gold Label CBD oil. Like I said before, my clients have given me positive reviews of our CBD products uh, for anxiety, stress, depression, um, bruxism, teeth grinding, insomnia, loss of appetite, and pain such as muscular pain, arthritis pain, uh, pain from surgery, and pain from cancer. Now before we get too far into the effects of CBD, let me talk a little bit about dysregulation of the neocortex. The neocortex is the part of your brain that is on the outside. It's when you see a picture of the brain, it's the wrinkly part on the outside of the brain. That's called the neocortex because it was the last part of the brain to evolve. It's the new cortex. It is believed that in the neocortex is where all of your thinking and cognitive processing takes place. Now, the reason I'm mentioning the neocortex is because we collect what is called dysregulation in the neocortex, little kinks. Um, the nervous system, the brain and the spinal cord and all of the nerves throughout your body are comprised of neurons. Neurons are also uh, known as nerves, called nerves. Now, uh, whenever you have a traumatic event or intense emotion, boredom, which is just another form of ADD or ADHD, um, trauma, like if you go to you know, war or if you uh, open a very high uh, electric bill or utility bill, uh, this causes dysregulation in the neocortex. Sometimes people literally do work on your nerves. Well, uh, when this occurs, the neo neocortex has some difficulty in um, reaching an alpha state. We're going to talk about the brainwave states, uh, brainwave frequency states also in a minute here. In regards to the accumulation of dysregulation in the neocortex, it isn't just uh, for soldiers and you know Marines when they go off to war. Uh, if you're a regular person, anyone, we all accumulate uh, dysregulation in the neocortex just as a 
as an effect of living life. Now back to the neocortex. Um, thoughts or brainwave activity occurs in different frequencies, different frequency bands. And the predominant frequency band um, happening in your brain at a particular time is uh, directly related to your level of cortical arousal or excitement. For example, we have the delta band, which is zero to four hertz, and we experience del delta while we're asleep. That's when we're in deep sleep. Above delta is the theta band, which is about five, six, seven, maybe eight hertz. And in theta, that is the state that uh, you're in when you're a child. And it's also the state that you're in when you're under hypnosis. It's also the state that you're in when you're in rapid eye movement sleep or light sleep, right? When you first fall asleep and right before you wake up. This is the frequency band where you come into contact with your subconscious mind, your creative zone, and any repressed memories or repressed emotions you may be holding. Above the theta band is the alpha band which is pretty much where you are most of the time uh, or where you should be most of the time, relaxed and awake. And that's from about eight hertz to around 12 hertz. Most of us would like to be uh, at most times in the alpha wave frequency band or what we call the happy uh, zone of uh, frequency, which is just being relaxed and awake and basically happy. Next, as we go higher on the frequency scale is the beta frequency band. The beta band is between 13 to about 20 or 21 hertz. Um, beta is the state that you're in predominantly when you're attentively listening or learning something. Above beta is high beta. High beta takes you from about 21 hertz to 25 hertz. And that's the state that you're in predominantly if you're focusing or trying to solve a math problem or if you're driving a car, for example. After a considerable amount of time in high beta, a lot of people find it a little difficult to calm down and to return to an alpha state, especially if you have a severely dysregulated neocortex. Now, certain substances such as marijuana and alcohol are an easy way to instantly reach a, uh, an alpha state after being stressed out or after, you know, at work or driving or uh, whatever the case may be. However, the therapies that we offer here at the Biometrics Health Center are designed to help you reach a state of alpha naturally to return the brain to its normal balance. So before I get into the immediate effects of CBD, I have to tell you about um, the effects of training the brain using neural feedback, audiovisual brain entrainment, and uh, cranial electrotherapy stimulation, which are the therapies that we offer here at the Biometrics Health Center. Many of our clients come to us and they uh, sign up for treatment. Our treatment is sold in blocks of 20 sessions minimum, and um, they are able to uh, train their brain with repetitive sessions of neural feedback audiovisual entrainment and cranial electrotherapy stimulation, um, like I said, a minimum of 20 sessions in close interval. And that's usually able to help the brain restore itself to its natural balance. For people who don't have the time or the resources to invest in the um, lengthy you know, training protocols that we have here, CBD is actually a good choice for uh, getting back into that alpha state much more quickly. Now, back to cannabinoids. Uh, we have different types of cannabinoids. We have uh, endogenous cannabinoids, which are produced by the body. The body does have its own uh, CB receptors, CB1, as well as CB2 receptors. And um, there are endogenous cannabinoids that are inside the body. This is why the body responds so well to smoking weed, for example, or to receiving uh, THC or CBD, because these are substances that the body already has a system for producing and for uh, receiving or processing. Next, there are phytocannabinoids. Phytocannabinoids are cannabinoids that are produced by plants, right? So that's what you find in the marijuana plant, in the hemp plant, and all of the different strains of uh, the cannabis plant. And also there are uh, laboratory generated cannabinoids such as the prescription drug Marinol and um, the uh, street drug that they call Spice, which I don't recommend under any circumstances. Now, when it comes to uh, CBD products that are, is, that are composed of phytocannabinoids that are extracted from hemp 
plants. Um, that brings us back to Biometrics Gold Label CBD. Now, why gold label, right? Why is it gold label quality? Because our CBD oil is third party tested for purity and for to guarantee the absence of glyphosates, heavy metals, and any pesticides. That means it is certified organic, no fertilizers were used in the growing of our hemp, and the CBD oil is extracted using CO2 extraction, which is the preferred method. All of the laboratory results of our uh, product testing can be found at the Biometrics Health Center. The types of CBD oil that you can find are full spectrum. Full spectrum is basically uh, just taking the raw THC plant and squeezing it. You're extracting everything out of the plant, all of the cannabinoids and terpenes, including whatever amount of THC is in the plant. Now, if you're dealing with a hemp plant, the THC is going to be 0.3% or lower. We don't have full spectrum here at the Biometrics Health Center. We have what is called broad spectrum. Broad spectrum is a full spectrum product that the THC has been completely removed from. So you don't have to worry about uh, failing a drug test if you take any, uh, any of our products. In addition to the uh, broad spectrum, we also sell isolate CBD. When you get to the higher uh, CBD um, percentages, such as 1,500 milligram strength or 2,000 strength, 5,000 or even 10,000 strength, um, they're all isolates, which means it's pure CBD oil and no other cannabinoids or terpenes in, included. Now remember, uh, Biomed RX CBD can only be purchased in person at the Biomed RX Health Center. Every client who buys a bottle of Biomed RX CBD oil gets a free bottle of DMSO or dimethyl sulfoxide. DMSO is a very good catalyst. It is a natural solvent uh, found in trees and is a, a very good catalyst for carrying CBD oil into the bloodstream transcutaneously, meaning through the skin. CBD oil and DMSO combined are a great combination for pain relief and uh, for people who just don't like taking uh, CBD oil orally, you can take it very quite effectively uh, through the skin. DMSO is also good as a pain reliever and uh, a relaxant. Um, it has a lot of benefits. I made another video about uh, DMSO. You can find it by clicking right here. Well, that's all I have to say about uh, CBD oil. If you would like to uh, find out more, give us a call here at the Biomed RX Health Center or email us at info at biomedrx.tv. And if you like this video, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe and click the bell for notifications. And if you'd like to provide us some financial support for making these great videos, please become a patron on our Patreon page at patreon.com forward slash Biomed RX TV. And as always, I would like everyone to stay kind because kind is the new sexy. Stay blessed and stay healthy. Thank you for watching Biomed RX TV.